Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to our Space Age playthrough. In our last episode, we got the beginnings of a huge bot network going, and we've made significant progress at this point. Uh, we've, we've made quite good progress. There's still quite a few lacking, but we're getting there. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to design the wall itself, and we're going to start plopping that down around the edges. So that way we can feel safe despite our growing pollution cloud. And then we're also going to potentially work on the thrusters for the space platform so that when we're ready, we can go to a new planet. Now, as far as resources being spent, I may or may not have lost the uncommon tank in a large explosion while I was hunting some biters to the west. And we lost 900 explosive shells with it, which was very sad. I did automate defender robots to maybe help out with combat as we're driving the tank around. And because we lost the uncommon tank, we decided we're going to roll the dice and try to get a rare tank. So here we're rolling for a rare tank. It's just going into an active provider chest and we have an alarm that's reading the network and it's going to start yelling at us when we have a rare tank. So that's going to be great. Um, oh, I forgot to put more in there. Um, I'm also collecting potentially enough rare ingredients to just guarantee a rare tank. So we're collecting gears of which I need 15. So I'm halfway there on rare gears. I already have 10 rare circuits, but then I need 50 steel and 32 engines. And the engines, I put a bunch of quality modules here. I have 13, which is nowhere near enough. And then the steel, the only place we're making electric furnace steel is over here. And I have three out of 50. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. I could rebuild, you know, my entire steel smelting builds to be electric, but anyway. So that's that. Let's work on the walls. So what kind of wall blueprint do we want here? I think it's going to be pretty basic. If I can find the wall. Um... Yeah, let's go here to here. And then I'm going to have substations along the wall. Like that. I want them to connect to each other. Hopefully that didn't break anything. Yeah, there it does connect around. We want something like this, and then lasers. The question is, do I want uh, every other, or do I want every? And that's the question I don't know the answer to yet. I will save a lot of laser turrets if I do every other. And I think every other is still pretty dang effective against the enemy settings I have on right now. I think I'm going to do every other. Um, the problem now is that it's not going to be every other because I'm going to put these next to each other and so they're going to line up like that. Um, but I think this is fine. And so we're going to copy this. We're going to paste it down. And then we're going to go relative so that they'll snap to each other. Save it. And then now we just follow these things. I guess I should do a diagonal one. What enemy settings do I have? Just default. Default settings. You'd go with every third? Now there's an interesting idea. I guess I can always reinf... The I don't know. How many laser turrets are we talking here? Every other's fine. I'm gonna go with every other. I'll probably regret it, but I'll only regret it for a certain amount of time, and then I won't regret it anymore. So. Can't biters still hit one tile behind walls? Um. Potentially. The good news is, I don't really care. Um. Basically, if there's an area that's getting attacked very frequently, I will reinforce that area. But I don't really care otherwise. 
Like, I don't need a crazy complicated defense system. Um, I just need something that sort of works. And then if there's an area that's getting attacked by lots and lots of enemies, then I'll reinforce that area. See, what's interesting is these are like spaced out more. Because they're diagonal. Um, all right, so then this will be... Oh, we need the substations. Okay, so we'll do something like this. And then that. And that. But then we need one more. Okay. So we'll do something like this. And delete you. This isn't going to snap very well to the grid, so I'll just build it manually. Um, we do have a decent amount of accumulators. So I think we'll be fine. We've got like 50 or 80. Um, if I was getting attacked constantly, that wouldn't be fine. But again, we're not going to randomly start getting attacked every five seconds with 5,000 biters. Like, it's going to be a slow burn. They're going to expand into our pollution cloud with one base, and that base will start attacking us. So we're not going to randomly be overwhelmed by, like, hordes and hordes and hordes. So we will have ample warning and we can ramp up things like accumulators or defenses prior to that. So I know lots of you are like death world players or something and you're used to biters being really hard, but at least in this particular case, we're not going to have to do anything too crazy to stay alive here. Um, I think what we're already doing is actually kind of probably overkill. Yeah, and the pollution cloud will slow down while we're on another planet. Exactly. So. If you just build the wall outside the pollution cloud, well, but the pollution cloud will grow. It'll it'll slow down when we're on the other planet and focus on other things. But then once we get that science pack done and we start shipping it back home and then we ramp up production again and then maybe we start working on more quality stuff and expand even more and then the costs start flying again so yeah there will probably be a lull in the pollution though a lull in the pollution that kind of sounds like Lollapalooza um it's very different the problem with the walls is we don't have radar coverage right now of where we want to build them all but I guess we can do this one Wait, where did I put the other blueprint? Okay, so then this guy... Pretty much all we need here. Perfect. And then I may need, yeah, a couple more robo ports along the front here. Make sure we've got construction radius. Along there. Why is there no orbital scanner? You know, that would be cool. I wonder if they could give you like some sort of setup you could build on your space platform that would make your radars more powerful on the planet. Not just free scanning anywhere, but like more powerful radars. That could be cool. All right, we do need to build something here. Uh... Put 
But ignore that. There is quality radar, yes. But that's not quite the same. Okay. Um, so that's done. Is there anywhere else where we kind of have the roboports done? Not really. We're going to need to wall off a few little tiny spots as well. Which is kind of funny. Alright, so that's one. Then we need to wall this off. <laughs> and then that. Um, I don't even know what to do over here. I guess just this. And that. Build a few out into the water. And power. Okay. Yeah, all the planets are infinite. Yeah, auto landfill is so nice. It's sweet. How's my production rate of roboports, by the way? A robo port. We're at 2.9 a minute. That's not bad. Uh, I'm lacking something. It's probably steel. Probably because we're making uh, constant tanks. Um, what are we up to for tanks? 120. So uh, I'm I'm starting to get into the unlucky phase. Or around the unlucky phase. I think we had 30 before. So my expected value of tanks I should have gotten by now is about one. Rare tanks, that is. By the way, can we appreciate the new uh, the new view of Logistics Network? We can search things and we can rename it. Novus main. Um, Oh, you can see where items are in the logistics network. Oh, that's so cool. So you can see even what storage chest something is in. It's interesting though that that doesn't work with the control F search. You know, if I wanna know where tanks are, that's just gonna show me the actual building making tanks. So that's a little different, but uh, okay. Why don't we take that uncommon tank? Oh, I need new gear, shoot. Um, let me make Power Armor Mark II. Let's start with that. Because we can afford it now. So, we'll do that. Sixty, forty. Okay. Our armor mark two, and then I'm gonna want a second fission reactor, which needs 200 blue chips. Am I not requesting blue chips? I'm not. That is some downright spaghetti. Yeah, we started out way more. Oh, good point. Sorry. Thank you, everybody. We should at least try. Should at least try our best at getting quality power armor too. We'll take our 8% chance. More RNG for the RNG god. Um, am I setting up nuclear? Uh, we already set up nuclear. That was at the end of the last stream. Yeah, we started out pretty spaghetti-free, and then it just got worse and worse and worse. I've just spaghettied into all of the other things. All right, that extra 10 inventory will be very helpful. 
Let's pull all this out. Put all this in. Look at that. We got plenty of room. All sorts of room for activities. Um, I don't even need these. We'll put those in the tank, maybe. Batteries. I don't know if I need four of them, but I have four of them. I probably want... Yeah, I definitely want one more of the fusions, which needs some more fuel cells. And... I might grab the other PLDs. We can have like four of those. That's certainly what I want batteries for, so Mark II batteries might be good. Yeah, Mark II batteries are just strictly better, so I definitely should make some of those. Problem is, I need freaking a million um, of the personal batteries. Those are not easy to craft. Probably should automate it. And where's my nuclear fuel? Down here? Ooh, over X time, eh? Yes, it is indeed Kovarex time. And... Rider... Quester... And then, what can we do? Productivity does work, I think. It doesn't work on the full uh, 40, it works on the extra one. But that still adds up. Anything wrong with this? Probably. So that'll always request 235. Yes, it's gonna have to buffer extra, so why don't we just request like 10? No, but if we only request 10, then the other one can request higher priority. Um, but then what we can do here is do an active provider chest. We're going to use a new feature. That's why I just got really excited. Um, where are they? Here we go. Right, so you, so that's an inactive provider. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a requester here. But we're going to connect it to the circuit network. Wait, why can't I? Not. No, to the logistics network. Why is there no little logistics button? Mm. Do I have to connect it to a roboport? I might. No, because that's circuit network. Can we not? Is there not like a logistic network button? Please? Maybe not. But we want to enable disable it. Um, if. 235. Is greater. The 235 available is greater than 5. And then... Basically, that should make it... Yeah, and that's reading. So that should make it so that this won't request anything until we have extra. And I thought I changed you to 10. Um, and that's fine being 10 because, well, the bot delay could make it kind of weird. But if we make that 40, then the buffer just ends up being so much bigger. So yeah, it's better to have this be a small number 
and then this would need to be greater than 30. I don't know. There's a couple ways. I think I actually think belts and using prioritized belts is a better overall way to do this. I'll just split the difference and call that 20, and we'll just call it a day. Um, how to destroy cliffs on Vulcanus? I don't know. You need cliff explosives. Uh, no, you need special cliff explosives. I think they're special cliffs. By the way, we're down to 58. The number keeps getting smaller. The number's getting smaller. The network is growing. There's less holes in it. That feels good. Uh, we also are going to have to manage some spots that are lacking. Manually. Like there. So basically where we have walls, we need to expand a little bit manually. Um, oh, we're not going to do walls there anymore, though. We're doing walls down here now. Right, right, right. I don't remember if that was on stream or in the episode, but this is going to be our land because we can just wall off there and wall off here and have all these resources. So much iron, copper. I think it's every resource. Stone, iron, copper, coal, uranium, oil. So it would be weird to not take this area on the west. Um... Okay, so we need to wall off this area. Let's do that. Do do do. do. Should do it. Let me make sure this cliff is unbroken. Looks to be pretty unbroken to me until there and then there. Nice. Need more power for those. Sweet. Don't need that. And then this is all good. Defenses here getting built eventually. Guys, we're doing it. We're defending our planet. Um, I guess those need power. Time for board game night. Well, enjoy that. Board game night's always a good night. I might put an extra turret or two just because if a large army comes here there's not extra turrets on the sides so you know what I didn't do is make sure all of these had power connections okay so then, I forget, do I need these walls? Did we decide? Yes. Yeah, we do need these walls. And should I just go straight across? Yeah, we just go straight across. So up here... We'll just shift click. And just go straight across. Boom. Don't need quite that much, don't need to kill fish. And then the RoboPorts should figure themselves out eventually with all that. <laughs> this is hurt. Uh, are there anti-cliff bombs? Well, there's cliff explosives. But yeah, I don't know how you get the uh, specific ones for the later, because I know they said it's not until even later that you can do certain terrain deformation on the on the new planets. So I don't know exactly how that works. And like I said before, I'm not gonna go like hunting deep into the tech tree right now um, for stuff that's really far away. I'm kind of wanting to stay not, you know, not like, 
avoiding all possible things, but I'm not just going to go digging in the tech tree for the late game stuff right now. Um, so, one thing I want to note. An entity is being damaged by this stupid worm. Uh, another thing I want to note. We don't have our rare tank yet. Ugh, painful. This is painful. I almost have 200 tanks. <sighs> okay, it's gonna be a lot easier if we deconstruct these and ignore this. Two hundred tanks. All right, let's look at thrusters on the space platform. How do we how do we make them? Do we just craft them in here? Uh oh. That same problem still? Okay, that keeps scaring me. Um, so thruster is just steel, blue chip, and electric engine. So that is that pretty much the same as the other recipes? I can't remember what these are. I think they're pretty similar. Yeah. So we might be able to set this up right here. Electric engine. Now thrusters could be worth rolling quality on. We got one uncommon grabber. That's not very good. Uh, and then we need steel. Surely I have steel nearby. Steel's everywhere, but no. Apparently it is not. Um... to do logistic no, no that doesn't work uh, I'll just do my everything is less than 50 50? no 30 ooh can you save some, save scum quality that's the question uh, senior do we have the rare components to make a tank yet I think I'm like 90% sure the answer is going to be no because of steel we're not, we're not making enough steel to roll the 50 that we need. Yeah, we're not even close. So unfortunately, I would just need to make a, a whole smelting stack of electric smelters for that. And I don't really have another solution. We probably have enough. No, we still don't have enough gears either. We only have 17. Well, that is enough. Do we have the engines? The engines, we still don't have enough of those either. So, not really. Not really. What's up, Jamaat? Yeah, welcome, welcome. Alright, I don't know how many thrusters we need, but we'll make... We'll send eight up. Whoa, they're big. Big! Oh. Not manually insert when automatic requests is turned on. Uh, so how do I turn off? There we go. Wait. Oh, that's this. Hey, Mike Hindi, 146 Raiders. Welcome, everybody. How y'all doing? Glad to see everybody. Are we enjoying Space Age so far, Mike? So for those who don't know, Michael Hendricks also streams Factorio. Awesome content creator, you should go check him out. Go, go give him a follow. Oh, Heatzor, good point. This is not the one we're gonna take. Why am I putting thrusters on this platform? <laughs> I, I need to make a new platform. This is the platform that sits here and makes space science. This is not the platform we're gonna take to another planet. Uh, I'm glad somebody said something. LOL. Uh, we'll send that back home. And we can forget that I did that. <laughs> All the raiders who just arrived are like, who is this guy? Does he not know what he's doing? Um, no, he really doesn't know what he's doing. 
They'll build a new space platform. I do need another starter pack, though, I think, first. So, space platform starter pack. So, we'll craft that. <laughs> Mike, you also don't know what you're doing. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Nobody knows what they're doing, and it's awesome. It's so fun. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so now we build new space platform. Uh, we'll name it the Hendrix... Hendrickson. The SS Hendrickson. After Michael Hendrix, who just raided us. Um, starter pack... So wait, how does this work? Oh right, I send it up in the in a rocket. I uh wait. No, now I'm confused. Where do I put it? Oh, I'm in remote view. That's why I, I'm confused. Here we go. Starter pack. If I can find it. Did I not? Oh, there it is. I hadn't crafted it yet. All right, we're getting there. <laughs> Good night, Jamatya. Enjoy, enjoy. Yep, totally understand, Mike. Thanks for the raid. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're enjoying your playthrough. I don't know how far you are. I saw I saw your stream up, but I feel like all of us are streaming so much, I, I can't keep up with what other people are doing. I don't want spicy green rocks in my pocket. Thank you. Okay, the SS Hendrickson is now created. So then I should be able to request for construction. Okay, so let's request some space platforms. And then we'll request some thrusters. Six. But we're gonna need all like the crushers and everything. I mean, cause we're still gonna need all those resources. So what if I copy, what if I copy all this, I create a blueprint for it. I go over to the Hendrickson and I say, make it so. And then we just let it do its thing. And we take off maybe this bit. And then we're at least starting with what is a semblance of a space platform that makes uh, resources. We can remove the space science part. And then we need to send a bunch of uh, regular solar panels. So let's do solar panel. Because I don't think I have any uncommon ones left. Is that a new rocket sprite? Yes, it is. That is a new rocket sprite. Okay, now that's gonna take five years, so we'll just let that do its thing. And then we're gonna have to think about how to actually make the, the thruster and oxidizers and stuff. Ugh, why do we not have a rare tank? I'm so mad about these tanks. I have over 200 tanks. 200 tanks. No! Come on. Goodness. It's just ridiculous. Uh, how's the wall doing? I'm actually pretty proud of our, our wall making skills here. Um, I do want to connect power at multiple locations for redundancy. So it doesn't just randomly you know, biters break through the wall, destroy one power pole, the entire wall goes down. That sort of thing is not good. Um, <laughs> tanks, I hate it. Yeah, exactly. We sure do. Um, okay, make sure we're good on defenses here. So that's all good. We need one more wall right here that I forgot about. And I think that should do it. Perfect.
Perfect. Tank dicks. <laughs> Zekla, I kind of don't want to set the precedent that I can build people's names with tanks, but at the same time, what else am I going to do with 200 tanks? I mean, I guess at some point we could recycle them, but uh, I will, I will, it depends on if they stack or not. Um, if they don't stack with each other to like overlap, it'll be really hard to make a name out of tanks. Here, we can put you right above the furnace stack here. Eh, we can make it work. X. E. K. Uh, it's a, this is rough. They don't stack at all. Oh. L. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I love the situations we find ourselves in. Here, wait, 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 wait. Uh, we'll do more like a, a little classic. Classic A here. All right, does that even look? Can we even see him on the map? <laughs> no, no, it doesn't look right on the map at all because it's all the little arrows. That's funny. Look, it's close enough. I'll, I'll count it. <laughs> so, how's the platform doing? The Hendrickson is gonna take some time to build. Are we not? There's something we're doing wrong here. It just, um, yeah, it's just not enough rocket platforms. So we probably should do a second silo at this point. Now that I need a little bit more, a little bit more oomph. So let's make a second silo. Ugh, silos are so annoying. Mainly just because to hold the things to craft one, it requires a million ingredients. But, that's okay. Maybe I should automate a silo. Because we're going to need a lot eventually. So, they probably... Silo. Now, does this break my game if I request? Actually, no. Oh, that's okay. I'm just going to uh, make it so that it'll just put one silo in there. Okay. So that will mean I don't have to go grab stuff for silos, because we're going to add multiples eventually. And then... How are the walls? The walls are built right here. Need power. I'm glad we did this. I know it was a big project and it delayed going to another planet for probably a few episodes in a stream, but it means that when we're on the other planet, I won't have to be freaking out about whether something's going on back at home. And even if something goes on, we're going to be way better equipped to handle it. So, I think this was a good, good plan. Hey, thanks for the follow, AL93. Oh, wait, there's one more issue we've got here, uh, which is this. This is an empty spot in the cliff. I need to defend that. This cliff is good. Can I just say I love the new cliffs? I think Troopin was right when he said that, like, he didn't even feel like he needed to make cliff explosives. Hey, Apophenia, thank you so much for the gift subs. So we're walled off there. We're walling off here. Is this done yet? It's looking pretty done. 
extra streaming value. Exactly. Uh-oh, that's not good. I have to fix that. Um, is there a reason I built these out here? I'm not sure. I must have fat fingered the blueprint. I don't need that. I do need these. Um, looks like the cliffs. I was just talking about not needing cliff explosives, and then we actually have cliffs kind of in the way, but that's nah, not a big deal. Compared to what old cliffs were like, are you kidding me? These are tame. Very tame cliffs. Okay, so I can delete these. I'm not actually walling off this area. We are capturing this area. And we just need to wall off this area and this area. So for once, I'm actually thankful for an ocean because this is saving us a lot of blueprinting. And we're going to have all the oil. Gosh, so much oil. Um... Yeah. How's my production rate been for RoboPorts? Are we still are we still at like two a minute? No. This is bad. What's happening? What's happening? We should be getting more than that. Oh, it's probably the rocket silo stuff. Also, what did I do? Um yeah, that's problematic. Rocket silos are expensive. Okay, and I do want productivity in that one too. That thing out of here. Super force build. I do still need to explode the biters. That's true. If I move them, I could get beacons between them. Now there's an idea that I didn't consider. I guess if I'm gonna move them, now's the time. Now would be the time. Copy the settings over. Uh, speed, modules, prod, modules. Is there a way to set modules to pull the highest quality available? No, unfortunately, I don't think you can just do best available. If there is a way to do it, I don't know what that way is, which is kind of a bummer. But yeah, blue chips are a problem. Can we improve? Can we improve the blue chips? Um, we can. I don't care about power anymore. Well, do I care about power? Maybe soon. I have nuclear now, and so power is less of a big deal. And so we can just full prod on this, and then set up another pair here. Another pair. Uh, and then the issue becomes copper. We can improve on this a bit. I think the issue here is actually the inserters. And at some point I need to do blue belts, I am aware. I'm spending a lot of blue chips on these. No, I'm not. That's not true. I'm not spending that many. I don't know where they're all going. We got two quality thrusters. So that's nice. They generate more thrust. Their efficiency is the same, I guess. 
but more thrust for the same space seems nice. Well, the three wire assemblers lasted this long because they were... I did, I did do the math, so it was enough to run all the red circuit assemblers I had here. Uh, until I changed some of them to yellow, at least. All right, so... How do I get more green chips? Just a copper issue? I mean, we've got a full belt coming in here, so I really can't do more than that without upgrading to blue belts. Do I have enough iron to start working on blue belts? We might. We might actually have enough iron. Mm, maybe not. I might need to wait till the space platform number two is, uh... How do I tag you as like a over here tag? How did I do this? How did I make this one? I don't remember. Click the hub. Aha. There it is. Thank you. Just like last time. Hey, that's assuming I remember anything, okay? Don't be so ridiculous as to as to presume that I remember things like that. That's on you if you think I'm gonna remember. Um <laughs> uh, that's user viewer error uh at its finest. Oh my god, the tanks. The freaking tanks. I just want a rare tank, and I've made over a hundred and like thirty at this point, and still no dice at a ten point four percent, or sorry, one point zero four percent rare rate. Um, Brony, the the new platform is going to be the first one we take to other planets. Exciting stuff. Very exciting stuff. <laughs> the gambling addiction is real, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, we are building Soviet levels of tank. We could wage a war on the biters. We really need the RTS control for tanks, not just for Spidertrons, is, I think, the bottom line here. Okay, so where are the rest of the blue chips going? Yellow science is backed up, which is good. That means we're not spending blue chips on that. So it seems like they're all going to the rockets right now. No, they're also going to a requester chest, which is requesting it. That's where half of them are going. Um, and those are getting delivered, if I can follow this little guy, to... The rocket silo. It is requesting 200 blue chips. Okay. If I make it with all rare parts, that will guarantee that it's rare. And I have actually kind of set aside some rarity for, for stuff. So I've got some rare gears. I've got some rare red chips. The problem is I need 32 engine units. So we're almost there on engines and then 50 steel which means I would have to make about 5,000 steel, and I don't have very many electric smelters. So right now, I keep running everywhere, like forgetting I have map view. So I only have eight rare steel is the problem. So I would need to set up a lot of smelters for that, which I'm not quite ready to do. But yeah, I mean, we are getting there. Like the bots are almost to the Western area here. And these ones are just now starting to get filled in. Look at the look at that network. Still a few patches, but it's pretty full. Feeling good about this. We're gonna be able to go to another planet. We're gonna go to a new planet. Unfortunately, it probably won't be in this stream, which is a little sad. But tomorrow, tomorrow I'll be streaming most of the day again. Not a 12-hour stream, but an all-day stream, at least. Uh, 
Alright, we really should start blue belts. Maybe I should do that. Um, I think I'll do that over here. And... What do blue belts need again? Blue belts of happiness. Uh, just a lot of gears. And then some red circuits. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's okay. We're not doing anything else with this iron. So I really want to start the blue belt creation. So I'll do four. This could be a good place to get quality gears again, but I just I don't feel like I need quality gears right now. So we will not. I think saving iron is more important here via prod. And then a speed beacon. All right, that should be enough gears. One of these alone can spend seven iron. So that's almost the full red belt of iron right there. Um, and then we need to bring lube over, which shouldn't be too far because I brought it over here for something already. Yeah, the electric engines. So why don't we find a way? Oh, this is kind of nasty. Um, what about underneath the water, maybe? Something like this? It might be worth automating all the belt tiers on another planet. Wait, why? Why is that worth it? What's wrong with having them on Novus? I love the sound of the rocket launch. It's fun to have that kind of happening for a normal reason that isn't just like infinite sciences are going on in the background. Yeah, shipping stuff back and forth doesn't really seem like a cheaper way to do it in most cases, unless it's something that is very, it can stack to a lot on rockets. Yeah, late game when you've got, you know, massive amounts of productivity in your rocket silos and stuff, it, it certainly might be better. But at this point, it would not be. Alright, so there's Lubricant. And then we just need some requester chests. Boom, boom, boom. Nope, that's the wrong spot. Boom, boom, boom. Um, I'll accept it. I will not... Oh, right, we don't need the gears. Uh... Okay. Cool. Okay, so that's done. And then this guy... Outserts. Two stacks. Cool. There's blue belts. I mean, Vulcanus does have infinite resources, but you guys talk about that like Nalvis is running out of resources all the time. With all of the new, with quality on drills and big mining drills, you're going to be able to pretty easily have your patches last forever on Nalvis already. Like, at the beginning, maybe not, but, you know, once we start going out to these patches that have 10 million in them, and then we're also using drills that double the productivity, and then we also have mining productivity researched to plus 60% or something. It's just, we're going to have, you know, 30 million iron from a 10 million patch. And then not to mention, you're, you've got more productivity happening in your base. So you don't need as much iron to make the same things. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of reasons why I think we might not need as many ore patches. 
Oop. So we need that part of the belt, don't we? I keep seeing this, uh, the bulk inserters, holding a bunch of items and thinking that, um, like this. And I'm like, oh, stack, stack inserters. But it's like, no, they're not actually stacking items. They just hold a bunch. But then they drop them one at a time, which is sad. So. That part is a bummer. So am I literally getting zero of these Roboports now? Or are we still getting some? We're still getting some, but steel is just not happening. Is this steel still running? Okay, that steel is still running, 100%. Is this steel running? This steel is not running 100%. That's because we're prioritizing the iron. So in some ways, I'm slowing down my Roboport spread by making blue belts right now, and by making um, <laughs> frickin' tanks constantly. <sighs> I'm so tired of this tank thing. We should have been done a long time ago. We're now at 224 tanks plus 30 that we made a name out of. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. But that's what you get when you play the quality game. You, get, you roll the dice, and sometimes you lose. so much for the donation. What about the progress of rare components? Uh, the problem, senor, is the steel. I There's no way I have enough steel. Yeah, I only have nine. I need 50. So, unless I, unless I amp up my rare steel production, we're not going to get there anytime soon. Unfortunately. And these even have the highest quality quality modules I can afford. Which is only tier two. <laughs> So, I mean, I could do that. We have a bunch of electric furnaces. The problem is spending tier two quality modules means we're spending blue chips, which are still not backed up apparently. Who do I have this set to? 200? Yeah, I wanted to more roll, I wanted to roll more uncommons. One says, Two, so two fish are in a tank. One says to the other, Do you know how to drive this? <laughs> two soldiers are in a tank. One says to the other, Blub, 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 blub. I feel it. Wait. Which one's... Two soldiers are in a tank. Oh, I get it. They're two forms of the same joke. I've heard the fish one before. I hadn't heard this two soldiers are in a tank one. I like that spin on it. But yeah, I'm gonna change that back to 100. I have enough quality two modules. I was hoping for some more rare ones, but we've got 10 uncommon twos now. Uh, one thing that we kind of forgot about was our personal equipment. Let's go get our other, uh, what's it called? That thing, backpack nuke. Nuclear generator with backpack straps. <laughs> Janky. Janky, but effective. What? what? How do we keep it from doing this? Is there a way to keep it from doing that? And don't, don't say with... I know there are ways to set it up so that it won't ever get more than 40 available to it, but this is just crazy. Um... You can read the contents just like, like this. Oh my gosh. So, so then, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Cancel that. Cancelled. The thing I was doing, cancelled. Now we're doing this thing. So you only insert if 235 is less than 40. Wow! That's so nice. So now we just don't have absurd amounts of extra 235 in there. Oh, that's so nice. Or only insert if it's not crafted. Eh, I like this map. We'll go with it. Oh, but it also adds the output to the input, so it won't insert until... Okay, okay. That's fine. That works. That works. I like it. Uh, we do need that one to just insert whenever it wants to. Um, sweet! Okay, so let's make another backpack generator. And then we can do another exoskeleton, maybe? And then we're going to want one more backpack generator for the tank when we get it. Which is going to be someday. The alarm still hasn't gone off. Um, check read ingredient instead. No, that outputs not the ingredients that are held in the slots, but, like, what types they are. Uh, so that's a different thing. The Geiger counters are new. The backpack generator makes 750, but then you get a fusion one later, they said. Which would be nice. And you can also, obviously, get higher quality. So I should have not handcrafted that, but I should have, um... Rolled it in an assembler to get a chance at a better one. Okay, so we'll grab a battery just to have one, which will allow for the lasers to... Do we do we might not need it Four la three lasers uses one of these the other laser uses a third of that and then these use I guess it'll help with the legs if everything was going at the same time we're using too much so yeah okay so I need some more blue chips I want to make one more I need 50 low density structure, 200 blue chips. Oh, why are blue chips so expensive? Putting nearly a megawatt of fission power on your back is a harrowing thought. Uh oh. Tile placement prevented on the SS Hendrickson. Okay, it'll figure itself out once it gets more platform foundation. Look at the progress. It's made good progress. I'm impressed. Um, I don't know what happened to that inserter. But yeah, we'll be able to filter out the different thingies. And then, do we need the iron plates at all for the thruster, or do we not? That's worth looking up. So the thruster consumes thruster fuel and thruster oxidizer. Which needs carbon water, and it needs iron ore water. So we don't actually need the plates on this one. So we can remove this part. We can kind of get rid of all this part. It's happening! It's happening! The rare tank. It exists. It's real. Where is it? There it is. Can I pin? Can I pin where it is? Oh, I'll click. There we go. We did it! It only took way more tanks than we needed. Alright, remove that assembler. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, this wonderfully rare tank has an 8x10 equipment grid and even more health than the regular tank. It's weird it doesn't show health in this little menu here. But it does have 600 more health than the uncommon variety. 
So, so that's great. All right, what are we gonna what are we gonna slap in this thing? How much room does it actually have? This baby can hold so many things in it. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. All right, we'll give it a laser to start out. And what else do we have? Nothing. I still need to craft the other stuff. We're gonna want to give it two legs, I think. So let's grab that. Quality. See if we can get some uncommon legs. Stuart has been born. Oh man, this one will for sure never die. Oh, in the cannon range, good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no uncommon. So what happens if it rolls an uncommon? Does it stop crafting? How does that actually work? Um, I'm not sure. But yeah, so the cannon range is now 36. Oh, you can, you can alt click on the tank cannon? <gasps> That's so cool. Um, so you can see like vehicle weapon stats here now in the Factoriopedia. But yeah, an extra three range on the cannon is nice. That's nice. Okay, so... Throw all the shells in there. Throw some rocket fuel in there. Should I make nuclear fuel? Hold on. Wait a second. How, how hard, expensive, difficult is it? Actually kind of expensive, but the good news is one of them will last a long time. It's like 12 rocket fuels in one regular fuel. And that gives me a lot more acceleration. And the same top speed. Is that new? That the top speed is the same between rocket and nuclear? I thought nuclear had less top speed but more acceleration before. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, quality is a rabbit hole, that's for sure. I, I, I love the mechanic. I think it's added so much to the game. I'm very excited to keep messing with it, and it's such a it's such a beautiful trap. <laughs> it really is. All right, I need to grab 50 LDS here and delete this. Thing. Oh nope, that adds more. We'll grab some LDS so we can craft another backpack. Once they give me the blue chips. Have I full productivity on the blue chips? I have, unfortunately. I guess it's time to prod on the green chips then. Though that's probably going to take some time to actually pay off. Uh, where do I already have this prodded? I prodded this exact setup somewhere. Where is it? Am I taking crazy pills? Somewhere... Which I thought was here... I had... Oh no, it's right here. Wow. There we go. So now we're pasting that here. Assembling Machine 2 is in... Why did it paste there but not here? Why can I not paste this? Interesting. Do I have to fast replace them all with threes first? And then I can do it? Yep. That's the, that's the trick. Okay, so we'll get more prod out of our copper and iron there. Okay, so for the tank, we want to roll the backpack. Hoist. Imagine a tank wearing a backpack. That's just crazy. <laughs> it, like, actually is crazy. Alright, a few more. Do I have... Okay, hold on. Let me get rid of these random tier 1 quality modules. I do have uncommon tier 2s. So, that will get me a 
30% better shot at getting a uh, an uncommon here. What if we just rolled a rare right now? Wouldn't that be so fun? Wouldn't that be so fun? Come on, come on. Come on, baby. Nothing. All right, well, we tried. So that's that, and then next we'll roll probably some batteries. Um, I should request batteries. I'm just gonna handcraft some batteries. And then we'll roll the Mark II. Maybe we'll get an uncommon, maybe not. Um, and then we wanna roll some legs. Just need blue chips for all this. Oh, and then four shields. The energy shields, I'm fairly confident we can roll. Cause that's not very expensive. Just steel and circuits, which is just perfectly on the belt waiting for me. That's not what I meant to do. We can do this. And we should be able to at least get a, an uncommon or two of that. There goes a rocket with some crushers in it. Bye bye, Mr. Rocket. You know you can make an upgrade blueprint that can insert modules for you. Yes. Hey, look, we got up one already. An extra 15 hit points and an extra 3.6 recharge speed. Oh, but it consumes more power. I was wondering if it would, and it does. So it's just more space efficient. Basically three of these is equivalent to four of the regulars. And when you think about it that way, it really helps you appreciate how much that space efficiency is helping, right? Like three uncommons means all of a sudden you get a two by two area back for your tank, and it has the exact same effect as if you had had four regulars. I know it's technically 3.9 instead of 4 total effect, but it's close enough to call it the same. Um, we're almost done with our global, global robo port stuff going on here. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to take that out. Hey, look, a job for the new rare tank. Um, it's not ready yet, though. I'm gonna stop that for now. I'm gonna do five shields. A few more batteries. I just wanna make sure it has enough, um, battery charge before we take it on an adventure. <laughs> Prop bet on how many poles are taken out by the tank. I've done a pretty good job. They're in a grid, so it's not too hard to avoid them, thankfully. But you never know. You never know what Krydax will run into, quite literally. Um, all right, so before we only had four shields. Now we're going to have four shields plus an uncommon shield. That's a significant boost um, in survivability. And then there's our generator. And the handcrafting is going to take a second. Do I need some solar? Maybe. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh, no, that's... That's expected. You guys just ignore that space for a minute. That's contested airspace. If he loses this tank almost instantly, we're probably gonna get a short break. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, Chris, we do have space science flowing. In fact, we have more than enough space science. Um, and then this is going to be the platform that we actually take to the planet. What planet are we gonna go to, by the way? Because we need to wrap up this YouTube episode. I mean... It couldn't be anything but Fulgora with how much we've loved rolling the dice on quality. We are going to go to Fulgora first. It's going to be exciting. 
In some ways, it's less exciting because there aren't any enemies that we know of, um, but I think it's going to be really fun to, to try Fulgora with the top-down design. Yep, we're going to Vegas, baby. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna get blue chips R us coming coming from Fulgora and it's gonna be a blast. So basically in the next episode, what we're gonna work on is getting thrusters on this ship and figuring out what we need to take to Fulgora. It's gonna be beautiful. Um, for those of you who are watching this future recording, I think we're gonna call it an episode here now that we have the rare tank. No, you guys gotta see the rare tank in action. I can't leave you yet hanging like that. I'm sorry. We'll, we'll go kill some biters real quick, and then we'll call it an episode. How's that? How's that? Um, I'm not going to put more... Um, whatchamacallits in? More lasers in on purpose, because I'm worried about the... the consequence that would have on the power generation. And I think the speed is far more important. Ooh, that movement bonus. We almost took out a power pole there. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do it. Wow, we are zooming right now. Oh, what do we, uh, there's power pole number one, I think. But from here on out, we should be able to avoid most of them. How many did I have to make to make a rare? This is the question. I have... 238... 268? And I had previously only made, like, 30 or something? So I think I needed to make about 230 to get a rare when my chance was over 1%. So that's pretty obnoxious. Um, where am I going? Up there. All right, now the first base we should kill is the base that took us out last time, right? We need to get revenge. We need to get revenge. First, we'll take out this little base up here and then we'll go get revenge. Driving through these canyons feels cool. Oh, the lasers are in effect. Wow, the turning radius has increased as speed has increased. I will note that. It does not increase your agility. Immediately dies to big worms. Uh, no, we're okay. I also can't tell if it's increased my braking force or not. I don't know if it has. <laughs> it takes forever to stop this thing. So, this, this stupid base on the shoreline over here is what got us last time. It ain't happening again. First, we'll take out the army. Oh, there's a base here now. This was where we left the army before. These lasers aren't doing much, are they? They're doing okay, but I mean, a nest has 2,500 health, so they don't kill nests very quickly. But they're helping out. What's our top speed? 82 kilometers an hour? Oh my gosh, we really are zooming. That's a fast tank. I wonder if, does quality make tanks faster or is this mostly just due to rocket fuel? Plus two legs. I also have defender bots. Oh my goodness, forgot all about it. You know what we need? Why does this not exist? An auto deployer for bots. Like a little two by two thing that just automatically deploys um, robots. When you're in a combat situation. That would be sweet. Oh, that's a cliff. I thought that was a rock. That'll get you. So between our lasers and the defenders, we actually don't even need to... Don't even need the cannon. But we'll use it because it's fun. I 
it actually, those defender bots are really helping me pick up the stragglers. Alright, there's a base over here we saw. We won the revenge battle. It's official. Those biters got nothing on a rare tank. Oh, this is how we died last time. Bogged down, taken out by big spitters and big worms. Nice. Nice. Oh, there's a Tim. We left a Tim. It's pretty easy to leave a Tim when you're in this situation because it's constantly... Um, they're constantly trying to repair. You have to turn off the logistics while moving or whatever. It's in the setting somewhere. Where's that setting? Isn't there a setting somewhere? Uh, I thought there was a setting that turned off logistics while moving. But yes, we now will have to call it a stream. So for those of you future YouTubians, as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below about our beautiful rare tank, and I'll see you in the next episode.